In this short video, you will learn how to import English LiDAR data and create a model of the famous Maiden Castle hill fort southwest of Dorchester. Coverage of the English LiDAR data is about 70%, so you have to check whether Maiden Castle is covered. A very good map viewer is offered by the Anfield Archaeological Society. Click on Location, enter Maiden Castle, and choose the first entry. In the menu, you can select DTM representing the bare earth or DSM, which shows buildings and trees as well with different resolutions. All right, Maiden Castle is obviously covered by the 1 meter DTM. Go to the DEM Data Sources page on our website, scroll down and click on United Kingdom England to open the Environment Agency's Open Data Portal. Enter Maiden Castle and choose an entry in Dorchester. Zoom in and notice that Maiden Castle lies in the northeastern quadrant. Expand the LiDAR Composite Digital Terrain Model entry to show the list with the available 5 times 5 km tiles and look for the 1 meter DTMs. Move the mouse over the download symbols until you find the tile with the suffix NE for northeast. Click on it and save the data on your computer. Open Plan Love Terrain and click on Try or enter and activate your license key. Click on Open in the menu bar and choose the last entry zip package. Select the downloaded zip file and click on Open to unzip the data. Plan Love Terrain will notice that there was raw data in the zip file and will show the open dialog again. Select all files with Ctrl plus A and click on Open again. Choose the British National Grid projection with the EPSG code 27700. Click on Show in Bing Maps and drag the white dots to adjust the area that you want to import. If you choose the local relief option, a preview window will appear and you can drag the orange dot in the map to preview part of Maiden Castle. Adjust the parameters and click on OK. Make sure that the Mesh Decimation option is checked and click on Import Grid Mesh to start the process. Please notice that the decimation reduces the number of vertices from more than 8 million to just 44,000. At the same time, the visual details are preserved by our normal mapping approach. Click on Save and enter a name for the tile file. Plan of Terrain tile files contain model data such as vertices, triangles, normal maps, and local relief data. Click on New Terrain File in the menu bar and specify the tile file that you've just created. Plan of Terrain Terrain files are text-based project files that reference the binary tile files and contain all the data about pins, tracks, and other project-specific settings. Save the terrain file by clicking on Save in the menu bar. Click on More and then on Tiles and Shading. Since we included the local relief data during import, this option is shown as a shader tab. Click on it to load the data and display the local relief. Click on Elevation to get back to the default shader and increase the contrast from 1 to 2. Click on Set Pin, choose a color and click in the middle of Maiden Castle to add a pin. Enter a name for the pin and close the window with OK. Click on Set Pin again or press the Escape key to end the pin mode. Open the settings and choose Names Short Lines as the pin style. Pins are shown with their colors by default, but you can overwrite this by selecting black or white as the pin color. Check the background box to add a rectangle to the text label. Click on More and then on Look Around. Adjust the vertical center point by moving the slider and start the look around. All right, that's it. Please have a look at the new manual to learn about all the other features of Plan Love Terrain. If you have any questions, please send us an email to terrain at planlove.com.